Hey to Johnny Eckerder, hope you're doing well and today we're back with some more Minecraft Dungeons and today I'm doing your guys' Minecraft Dungeon Challenge ideas. So I made a community post uh, like maybe a week or two ago asking for some of your challenge ideas and then you guys left some and so that's the ones that I want to be doing. So let's get into the first one. Also, if you guys want to see another video like this, then feel free to drop your challenge ideas in the comments below. And maybe if I get enough challenge ideas, then I'll try them out. Anyway, back into the video. Okay, so the first challenge idea is to beat the hardest level with the worst loadout. And obviously I could just go like back to like difficult and just get some really low power level gear and that would like technically be the worst loadout because it would be such low power level. But I actually want to make the worst loadout using like the gear that I have, which is mostly uniques. So I'm going to be trying to find the worst uniques like don't work well with each other and just are totally just not very good. And then that's going to be my worst loadout. And then I'm going to go see if I can beat the hardest level with it. Okay, so for my worst loadout, I think I've got a pretty good one. So first things first is the unstable robes. And so with this one, I'm just going to try not to roll because if you don't roll, then the unique ability doesn't really go into effect. So I'm just going to, you know, not roll and it's going to make it pretty bad. Next, I'm going to use the Spellbound Crossbows because I hate these tiny crossbows because they shoot kind of slow and they don't do lots of damage, so overall not great. And then finally, I'll be using the Flail, which is just not a great weapon. Yet again, it attacks slow, doesn't have a huge range, and it just has like the chaining enchantment, which is not my favorite. And then for the artifacts, we have the Enchanted Grass. Eye of the Guardian is a worse corrupt beacon i think everyone understands that this one's pretty trash and then finally the fishing rod is um yeah not very useful so we're going to go into the obsidian pinnacle and i'm just gonna play at the power level that recommends me to because i think i could maybe do apoplexos 25 but i don't want to spend the time to try doing it and i don't want to go through the work of putting these items at the forge especially when i'm never going to use them again so apocalypse plus 21 it is all right let's see how it goes on these guys all right, cool. That does like no damage. Chaining is at least taken into effect. That's not too bad. Let's, let's use this. Wow, that is not, that's not bad, but like, it's definitely a lot better stuff. And then, yeah, the fishing rod just kind of screws you over. That's for sure. Ow, okay, okay. Wow, these guys hurt. And my, um, okay. Yeah, that is rough. Yeah, I don't see this going very well, but you know what? We're going to try. All right, I'm going to give myself three attempts. So if I can't beat it in three tries, then I think I'm just going to have to give up on this challenge. But, you know, I feel like three tries is pretty generous, and I reckon I could do it. Maybe. I hope. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that is brutal. They just all spawned around me and just wouldn't let me leave. Oh, I'm going to die. Man, this sucks. Okay, so we've made it to the inside part, and this is where things are going to get a little bit trickier. Hopefully we can do it. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, this ain't good. Oh. Oh. Let's try again. Okay, I've made it back inside, and luckily it doesn't look like there's an invoker. He might just be blue. Oh, gosh, that guy is strong. Holy cow. Okay. Um... Either way, I've made it back to where I died. I only lost one life this time, so a little bit better. Dang it, no! Let's see, is there an evoker? Oh, 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 heck nah. What the heck? I just looked up and saw like four different boss bars at the top. Ah? Huh? Okay, I think I got pretty unlucky with the AR, or with the, the I almost said ARG, the R. The, I don't even know. I'm just lost for words. What the heck? There's an Enderman. There's a Raid Captain. There's an Evoker. I didn't mean to roll. I'm freaking out. Man, this is not good. I think I'm... I think I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, and they... Oh, I think I'm... I think I'm done for. I think this, I think it's chalked. Yep, okay. Yeah, that was so unlucky with that. I'm gonna try one more time, and then if I can't do it, then I think it's just gonna call it at that. Okay, well, that was that challenge. That was a lot harder than I thought it'd be. I thought, you know, th this challenge seems pretty possible. I've done some weird challenges before. This doesn't seem too bad, but honestly, yeah, no, these items are not good. I would not recommend using these as a combo. Um, either way though, that was a good challenge. I give it a nine out of 10 on the 
hard challenge scale. I don't know what that is. I just made it up. Okay, up next, the next challenge I'm going to be doing is playing with my controls inverted. So what I'm going to be doing is it's kind of hard to do because I use mouse point and click and obviously I can't really invert that but i'm going to see if i can find a setting so when i go down it's up and when i go up it's down i'm pretty sure i can change that and then i use my artifacts as w a s and d and i'm going to be switching it so s is going to be w and then d is going to be a so i'm going to be just be shuffling everything around and uh we'll see how this goes so i've changed around all my controls and unfortunately i couldn't find a way to invert my mouse so when i go up it's actually down and yada yada I even looked at my computer settings, couldn't figure it out, so it's whatever. But it does feel weird because normally my left uh, mouse button is my move and attack, but now it's shoot. And then my right one is the move, which is weird. And then obviously, like, my health potion is A and just, yeah, this, this doesn't feel good, especially because I've played for so long in, like, one certain way. So I've gotten used to playing that way. Yeah, so this doesn't feel great, but we're going to go into the Obsidian Pinnacle and... You know what? We might as well play on Apocalypse Apocalypse Plus 25 because you know we're high enough power level. Okay, honestly, the biggest thing that got me that got me <laughs> that has me messed up is honestly the moving and shooting because I'm so used to um, my left mouse button being like, dude, I can't even. I'm using so much brain power trying to focus on this. Um, I can't speak while I'm doing it. That's crazy. Oh my. I, oh, I was pressing, okay. I had the health potion and I was trying to use it by using S because that's what it normally is. Yeah, it's, that's not my health potion anymore. <laughs> okay, so I've made it inside and I'd say this is probably going better than before um, because obviously since I have my good loadout, even if my controls are a little bit messed up, I can actually do some damage, which is nice. Okay, so we've made it to the boss which is pretty good. We don't have any more lives left, which is not pretty good. Okay, yeah, that's going pretty well. And I switched out my harpoon arrows for a totem of shielding to hopefully make this a little bit easier. All right, and bro's about to die. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. Nice. All right, cool, we did it. We actually beat the hardest level in the game with the, our wacky controls i'm definitely going to be changing them back because that was super annoying but overall not too bad okay so the next challenge is, is with a character with every level unlocked like this one i'm going to be playing through the game with like the default gear so no armor the level one sword and i believe the firework arrow and just a normal bow and after a little bit of time i'm going to see how far i can get and see if i can beat the obsidian pinnacle in a reasonable difficulty so from what i'm getting at i'm basically going to start from nothing and see if i can beat the obsidian pinnacle with just the like items i got which i've kind of already done before but this is a little bit different because it i think i can go to any level i want because obviously they're all, all unlocked the only problem is is i don't have the level one sword and the only way to get it is i believe by starting with a new character and if i start with a new character then obviously every level isn't unlocked so i think it's going to be a bit of a challenge to actually get low power level loot which i think is the main idea of this challenge so i'm going to go to a different character that i think has most of the levels unlocked okay so yeah this uh character at least has all of the main level or at least most of the main level levels unlocked and they're not super overpowered so i'm gonna find the lowest power level items i have i still have the level one firework arrow so that's good and i would technically start with no armor i know this isn't like the full idea of the challenge but this challenge is really hard to do um, unless you just like happen to have all the beginning gear which i don't so i'm just gonna start like this pretend i got this in the first level and then i'm gonna say i'm gonna play for like 30 to 45 minutes and then after that i'm going to go to the stronghold or not the stronghold but obsidian pinnacle and see if i can beat it i'm going to be going to the soggy swamp because that has the scatter crossbow i think it's called and the unique version of that is the harp crossbow which you know i love so i'm going to be going into soggy swamp trying to do that and then if i can get there's a villager in there hopefully it's not the luxury merchant hopefully it's the mystery merchant because that guy's great for leveling up power 
yeah, let's get into this and see if we can get some good items. Okay, doing this with armor is actually really rough. And I'm trying to remember if you do you get armor in the first level. I think you do. It's just like level one, right? Because doing a level without armor is actually in incredibly hard. Whoa, that was a huge chicken tower. Did you? I killed it so quick, but I, it was there for a second. Well, that is... That's a mystery merchant. Yeah, heck yeah. That's good. Let's go. All right, there should be a good chest over here. Yes. Ooh, some sickles. Oh, I was playing on Venture this whole time. That is probably not what I should have been playing on. No wonder it's so hard. Okay. The nice thing is, though, since I was playing in Adventure, I got really good items like these daggers, which do lots of damage in this mode. Um, so I'm just going to power through that. Ooh, okay, I died. Doesn't matter. Killed the boss. And I got a unique. I think it was a bow. I'm not quite sure. I kind of missed what it was. Oh, moon daggers, bro. These daggers slap. They're kind of low power level, but... I am using the Corrupt Beacon, so I'm definitely going to use those. I can get rid of these stupid fishing rods. I might keep these ones because they do, and they do do a little bit higher damage, but hopefully with some sharpness, it might help me out a little bit. Lovely. So we completed the level, which is great. We can now play Soggy Cave, even though I am close to reaching the time. So I give myself one hour, and I have like 10 minutes left. Okay, let's see. We got a Harvester. Actually pretty good. Okay, so my one hour time limit is up and I went up about 17 power level, which I think is pretty good. I think it could have been better if I would have got the mystery merchant sooner and I would have gotten to Soggy Cave sooner, but whatever. But overall, I think it's pretty good and hopefully I have a good chance of beating this. We'll go for the recommended difficulty and just see if we can do it. No, 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 no. No, wait, uh huh? Wait, huh? Okay. That's strange. Normally when you fall off the map, it doesn't kill you. It'll just take, I think, it's like a, a half or a third of your health. So maybe because I got so low and then fell off, it just killed me? Either way, though, that's sad. Oh, actually, I just got that crossbow and I wasn't processing it. But it gives me plus one soul gathering. So I'm actually going to swap that out because it's the same power level. I'll put some multi-shot on it, why not? But that'll help me with my harvester. That's great. All right, first gate this is going pretty good. All right, I just made it inside. Let's go. This is going well. Only died once. Pro tip, there's a book right here on the inside. Opens up a little door. Here's a button that you can press for a rune. And there are two pretty OP chests back here. A dang Slayer crossbow. Let's go. And some good armor. Nice, I'm actually probably going to be using both of those. Okay, and just like that, we are at the boss, only died once, which I would say is a pretty big win. And I'm going to change out my Tome of Healing for the Tome of Shielding, because that's going to come in handy. And I think this is pretty doable, honestly. I don't think this would be too bad. Too bad my bow shoots so slow. It does lots of damage, though. And just like that, he's gone. Sick. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Oh, dang it. I think I have to start over now? Oh, no, I don't. Sick. Alright, I'm actually going to go back to the Tone of Regeneration. Because I think that's going to help me a little bit more, hopefully. Okay, I have one more chance, but he's really low. So I think I'm going to be okay, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm going to be really sad. There we go. No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna say I beat the game. Because I did, he should have died and that should have stopped, but it killed me anyway. Which is about the worst thing I've ever seen. That sucks. But I technically beat it. I killed the Heart of Ender, I killed him. All I would have had to do was walk to the finish. So I'm gonna count that as a win. Well, there we go, we beat the Broken Citadel with pretty low power. Power level was 25, though I also the power level was like my power level, so I guess it was, I don't know, still still kind of hard, but I probably could have played that last bit a little bit smarter, but you know, I figured I'd just send it. And finally, the last challenge idea is to collect every single item. So not just the uniques, 
but just every item there is. Right now I have all the uniques, but the uniques are unique versions of like the sword. So like the diamond sword is a unique version of the normal sword. So my next challenge is co to collect every type of, you know, basically every item in the game. And obviously this is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm not going to obviously do it in this video because this is something that's going to take a very, very long time. So this is going to be a challenge I'm going to work on for, you know, a while. But sadly, that will have to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, I appreciate it if you've subscribed. If you like and like the video, new videos every Thursday. And remember to stay jolly.